We're at the test labs at Perfection Clutch in Charleston, South Carolina, because you know sometimes when you're doing a hydraulic clutch job on a vehicles like a oh, Ford Ranger or a Honda Civic, it can be very difficult to get the air out of the line sometimes. So we're going to take a look at how that air gets into the hydraulic lines and the best way to get it out. Let's get started. And of course, we can't really see the air bubble in the line. So here's a great little display that'll help us understand that. So Gary, uh, I guess here's the air bubble. What else is going on here? Jim, basic Ford Ranger system, master cylinder, pedal assembly, line, slave cylinder, and a clutch. Right now, we don't have the air bubble in the system. So when I push on the clutch pedal, the pressure plate is going to allow the disc to spin down freely, shifts normally the way it should. Bring the pedal up, the clutch engages. Now let's add the air bubble. So when I open this valve, we're going to add this air bubble to the system. It'll compress first. Wow, the fluid is compressing the air bubble. That gives right. us a spongy, spongy feel. feel. We lose pedal travel, we lose plate lift on the clutch, and we don't get a clean clutch release. We're talking about gear clash, grind, inability to select reverse and first from a standing start. So we got to get that air bubble out. Yeah, not to mention the wear on this uh, clutch disc itself. So, all right, this air bubble we can see here in the line, but on the vehicle, where does it come from? Jim, we find it's almost always a trapped air bubble in the master cylinder. The bubble sits up here, and you can see in this demonstration with this water bottle, as long as that bubble is up there, it's not going to go out down through the line. So we teach a technique where you tip the master cylinder so the bubble can actually go back out the top. This is done off the vehicle on the bench, no special tools required, and you can feel the change in your own hands when it's ready to reinstall. Well, that makes a lot of sense. So let's go back to the vehicle here and check it out there. Well, Gary, this F-150 has a similar problem to the Ranger that we were talking about. Yes. Um, the clutch has been installed, but it has a soft pedal. So what's different, though, is the uh, clutch master cylinder is horizontal, not tipped. Does that make a difference? A little bit. They have the same internal design. The Ford Ranger, it's tipped pretty dramatically. The air bubble is really trapped up here. This one looks like it shouldn't be a problem, but even horizontal, the air bubble is still trapped in the top half of the pressure chamber of the master cylinder bore. So to get it out, we have to take it off the chassis, tip it, we'll exercise the push rod back here, and the valve will open, close, and the bubbles will come out the top of the reservoir. If the instructions were followed that we offer, we wouldn't have this problem, and we would get it bled out on the bench before we install it, and then finish with a gravity bleed, and it's not such a problem after all. All right, well, show us how it's done. Well, Gary, tell us what has to be removed for a procedure like this. This vehicle, we had to remove the master cylinder reservoir, the master cylinder, and the pressure line. This allows us to take it to some object, a ladder, a stand like this. We stretch it out. Reservoir at the top, master cylinder. Very important that it's angled this way. Connection up, push rod down, and the connection is at the bottom. If there's an air bubble in the system, we can actually push it out the top very simply. And none of the procedures that are commonly used, vacuum bleeding, reverse fluid injection, will do this in the truck. They just aren't effective. Putting it like this, the bubble's going to go up, which it wants to do anyway. Jim, if you'd remove the cap and the little seal underneath there. A little right. bladder Watch here. Watch the brake fluid, yep. yep. Okay. Now, if you want to step up on the ladder, you'll be able to see the bubbles as they come out the top. Okay. Be careful, sir. And all I'm going to do is exercise the push rod a little bit, and that valve triggers the bubbles to come out They're the top. Com coming out already. So the further the push rod pushes, that's more air. When it tightens up and gets to about one eighth of an inch, that's when we get to reinstall it and finish it with a gravity bleeding. Well, Jim, after we got all the air bubbles out of the master and the line, we had it stretched out. Now we're going to put it back in the truck, make the connection of the pressure connection to the slave cylinder. And the gravity bleeding process, all we have to do is open the bleed screw and the system will flush itself. The fluid comes into the bottom of the slave cylinder and pushes the air bubbles out the top. Typically, we, rec we recommend flushing about one and a half, two reservoirs worth of fluid through the system. Close the bleed screw and this clutch is bled and ready to go. When you open up a box of a Perfection Clutch product, this is the first thing you're going to see. And it has a 800 number for technical support and a website where all the details and instructions are. On the back is a great quick start procedure to get you going. But if you follow these procedures 
and the technical instructions on the website, they'll never be in a position where you have to remove this product and re-bleed the system again.